Swami Bhuteshananda 1901-1998 was the 12th president of the Ramakrishna order. This is a collection of teachings and quotes from Swami Bhuteshananda ji remind your own self to go back to your abode. It is an alien land where you have come just for a few days. This is not your permanent home. Peace lies in going back to our own eternal home. So long we live in this world, we shall have to go and come back again and again and pass through this cycle of birth and death, pleasures and pains. Abiding in peace is not possible here. If we examine the world as it appears to us and determine the truth about it, we shall realize the truth about God. Then we would know that this world is impermanent and is full of miseries. Perhaps there are some traces of happiness, which only intensify our burden of miseries. Whenever we are distressed, we think that perhaps we could have avoided it had we been a little more intelligent. We keep trying in several ways to avoid misery and think that we may thus deceive or escape from the jaws of time. But one can never deceive time. It has bound us hand and foot. When the right moment comes, we will be powerfully pulled to it in spite of our lords. Each of us has to meet this end. Nonetheless, we remain oblivious to our destiny. Often we hear people discussing that they are unhappy. It is indeed surprising that with whoever we may talk he says he is unhappy. Perhaps people have a temporary respite from worries and miseries. But they always become unhappy immediately proceeding and succeeding in that state. Nonetheless, we remain so much absorbed in whatever little temporary pleasures or happiness we get that we do not remember unhappiness or the one that follows it. Though we are reminded of it by our true well-wishers, we remain largely oblivious to this need. We rather think about what is the need for it. And who is the true well-wisher? Indeed, God is truly our own person, or well-wisher, in search of whom we have come into this world, and only when we will reach His lotus feet that we shall be in everlasting peace. But do we really consider this world an alien land? If we care to examine our mind a little we shall find that no matter how fleeting may be our life here in this world which is a mixture of pleasures and pains, we have taken it as a permanent abode and continue living in it. On the other hand, we very much enjoy living here. Hardly we want to get out of it. Only when we will feel tired of it we will think of a way to get out of it.